Authorities across the state are searching for a Minnesota mother and her five kids. The woman has been ordered not to have contact with those children, but authorities say there's much more behind her disappearance. Sharon Yu has the details now. Sharon? Corey, Camille, this is a story that comes in two folds. It all began last week in Fargo, North Dakota, when 44-year-old Miguel Cooley was charged in the murder of another man. Police say he fled to Minnesota with three of his children. Fargo police described the homicide as a drive-by shooting in front of a downtown Fargo McDonald's. Fargo police searched for 44-year-old Miguel Cooley, who allegedly shot and killed a man. Police say Cooley then fled to Minnesota and ended up in Mauer County in Rose Creek with three of his children, Mateo, Malisha, and Marissa Cooley. Over the course of the week, Clay County Child Protective Services were granted an immediate order for protective custody of that homicide suspect's children. While in custody of the originating county, but physically staying in Mauer County, two of the children vanished yesterday evening. Mauer County Sheriff's Lead Sergeant Steve Sandvik says he believes the children's mother is at a coolie traveling with another daughter of hers picked up Mateo and Malisha in a black Suzuki SUV. The third child, Marissa, was taken to safety by Clay County officials. Ultimately, what we ended up with is three of the six coolie children had been last seen at approximately 10.30 last night at this rural Rose Creek home leaving with their mother. Sandvik says the Cooleys have six children total and that they are now looking for the two others, 13-year-old Mojo and 17-year-old Marco Cooley. He also says although Izetta Cooley is from Moorhead, it is difficult to tell where she and the three children may be headed. The Mauer County Sheriff's Office says if you do happen to see the black Suzuki SUV, that's with the license plate number 103WJC. You should call 911 right away and say you're calling about the missing persons alert from the Minnesota Crime Alert Network. Guys, of course, we'll make sure to continue to follow this story and have the very latest at 10 tonight. Thank you so much, Sharon.